How's the how's the F1? Ford F1. Same as the past two months that you've been uh, fucking checking in or whatever. If you ever sell this truck, sell it to me. Okay. How to drive 101. Are you ready to go? Yeah. It's way past the deadline. The masterpiece. You gotta say something real here. It's awesome. Probably the most. It's like the coolest new you, you would, body you would, style ever. You would punch a hole in the in a Picasso painting and then take that truck instead. I don't know how that has any correlation to whatever. But... Look at that, dude. Look at the. What? It sits very high up. Front end is massive. It's awesome. Very, it's not look how square the yeah, back it's is. So square. It's not not rounded. Bullshit. Even the front. Look how the when the the rear window goes up. It's just 90 degrees. Yeah, dude. And it doesn't look like it showed like a lot of the new trucks. How they they uh if it's a if it's a single cab, it always looks weird. So what's the pickup line? Yeah, uh, I got rods. <laughs> Wanna go fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I this, is, this is the last album I did. It came out with it. Look at that! Look at that Ram Ram. Very nice. Alright guys, we are back in the Silverado now and I just started her up and man she sounds good, especially cold starting in this weather. It is pretty cold outside today and also cloudy, but I think I'll still be able to hit the road and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna stop by the shop real quick and i'll get you guys an update whenever we get there but i guess i'll drive down a little bit and show you guys that drive since it's a little bit different but yeah a lot of cool trucks out today especially that ford man those new fords even the single cab ones look pretty cool all right guys we just left the body shop and yeah so there was something that i needed to show you on the silverado i'll show you when i get back but it's just something that well it's just a little thing that was off and I've been just keeping it a secret. I really didn't notice it until like a few days ago, but ever since then I've always noticed it, so I figured I went and go and talk to them about it. But everything's gonna work out here in a few days to get it back there for probably just a few minutes, but you gotta see. So yeah, we're about to head home now, and it's, I mean the weather is kinda bad, but I think I'm still going to hit the road anyway. Before I show you guys outside and what's going on out there with the with the new truck and everything, with how it's been changed up and how amazing it looks and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well the inside here I'm just I just cannot figure it out. There's some kind of rattle going on. It draws me nuts whenever I'm going on a bumpy road. If the road is smooth, then it doesn't do it, but here in PA, most and ma the majority of the roads are awful, so. I try to bang around the panels, and I try to find where it is, but I, I just can't figure it out. And it's definitely behind somewhere around here, and I don't know how to disassemble the whole inside of here. I feel as if it would be a nightmare, and I'd break a lot of clips, so. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I also don't want to engage the freaking airbag. Got it. <laughs> All right. You hear that? Whatever that frickin' noise is, I don't know what it is. I can hear it now, I figured it out, but I don't know how to take care of that. All right, just pull this panel straight off the side and it's definitely somewhere right in here. I don't know where these connectors go to, but they're here and somewhere in this area is the noise. And I'm glad I was able to figure out location so if you guys are having a similar problem to me and you can hear rattling it's whatever is allowing this to come down in a motion like that it's holding it right between these two panels it's right there and I can't get to it I don't know what to do I can touch it right here but that's not gonna do anything it's just a it's loose so I don't know how to get to that if you guys know what to do let me know 
but I don't see how I'm going to get this panel off. That's what I would need to get to to be able to get back there. I'm not seeing any feasible way to do that. But that's what I'd need to get to to be able to take it off. But at least I know where the problem is. See, when I go like that, that's the noise I hear. Well, whatever. Here's a lock for my spare that we don't use anymore. And I'll get this put back on. See if I can do it. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do to get to that one point. I'm going to have to look at the video or something, I guess, unless you guys know. But that's the problem. At least I know where it's at. So, here, let me step out real quick on this cold day. Hold on. Damn it. So, up here on the front, this is what it was. Um, it's starting to... It's, it's, see, you won't be able to really notice that unless you were really looking close. But as you can see, it's starting to recede on the edge there. So I hope you guys can see that, but the majority of it's black. It's just reflecting because it's gloss back, but I don't know if you'd be able to see that. I don't know. It's not as bad as it, look, it looks. I just don't hope it gets any worse. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring it in. He said they'd touch it up for free. So I'm just going to get that taken care of. I mean, it's not that bad, obviously. If you look, stand back here, you'd never even notice. But I figured I'd have it perfect, and now it's my truck. So I'm going to hop in real quick, and I'll catch you guys in a sec. It is a freezing cold day, but I'm about to bring out the bike. Yeah, 1,000 horsepower from Beast. Looks like we're good. Here's a little thumbnail for you. What's up? Not much, dude. I saw like a huge ass truck. They had like high profile like tires. They're probably up to like up to here on this guy's truck. He's got fuel. Are you kidding me? Would you, was, yeah, it was dope, dude. Would you drive the truck behind you? Uh, Everybody in short yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We just want it to be spring already. It's supposed to be warm. I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> now, next time we'll have better communication with the weather i saw you guys text Dude. about planet fitness and you're here all right no shame no f body shaming or anything but bigger people are so you guys are so just bike 10 long. miles to get here you guys are moving to the Penn State Harrisburg yeah and so are, are you any, like house yeah if you guys do i might have to like move in with you guys and yeah then and, then, and then go to ship from living at her place Yo, are you ready to roll yeah bro i don't yeah. care i'll like save up some money for that and then you'll just commute to ship an hour away. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. <laughs> you just go at 95. Stay out of way, come in this leave. Yeah. My class. Then Mike can stay too. <laughs> if, they're, if they're both going to ship. But look at this truck. Wilt just got a new truck. Welcome to my vehicle. <laughs> Thumbnail. Thumbnail? Yeah, that's what I'm going for.